very soon God opened the door and for the next four years she directed the music program at a Bible school she married a man of God they're both in the ministry today and God reminded me once again my house shall be called a house of prayer because when you call I will answer and the hard cases that some of you are facing, I want to tell you now, it won't come from another seminar. Seminars have their limit. All they can do is be an arrow that gets you to the throne of grace. But when you get there, watch out. Because God can do exceedingly beyond what we ask or think. I'm not being emotional. I'm not being simplistic. But we have too many technicians now invading the church that are into methodology. The answer is not in methodology. The answer is in the power of the Holy Spirit. The answer is in the grace of God. Could you just close your eyes right now? They've given me permission, and I thank Bill and Gloria for this, and Randy and the folks who work here. Pass me not, O oh gentle. Savior, sing it with me. Hear my humble cry. While on lovers thou art calling, do not pass me. I wonder, <clears throat> before we sing that song again, and the lights are dim because the last thing we need is any kind of spectacle or any sense of embarrassment for anyone. I have a feeling that there's more than one mom or dad that could all too empathize. With what Carol and I went through, and you have a son or a daughter who's out there. Even some of them are in church, but you know they're out there. When you consecrated and dedicated them to God, this is not the end result that you knew God had in mind. They're maybe totally away from God and your house even, or maybe you could just sense there's like a hardness, a crust. They're just going through the motions and the, the tenderness that you know they're gonna need in life. Tenderness to God is not there. Instead of worrying or just praying uh, and crying about it, I'm going to ask as we sing that song again for every mom and dad or every grandma or granddad who has a grandchild that is a burden to you. You love them. And they've been reasoned with, they've been talked to, they know the word of God. Now it's up to God. It's up to God, the Holy Spirit, to get them. We're not God. We can just bring it to God. Or maybe you're a husband or a wife and your spouse is not with you today and is not with the Lord, serving the Lord, and yet you got married in Christ. And now there's trouble in the house. Listen, those are the real battles of life. This stuff in Haiti and this stuff in the Persian Gulf, that's child's play compared to the real battles of life. I'm going to ask every mom or dad, grandparent or husband or wife who identifies with anything I've just said, would you stand right now, wherever you are, and by standing, you're saying, I'm bringing that situation to the throne of grace. I'm not embarrassed. Just stand. That's it. Don't be ashamed. Pass me not, O oh gentle 
tu Señor, Señor.